what's up it is tiny tab here with episode number seven monday motivation little mini so for you to talk about your attitude what is your attitude and how are you choosing your attitude this is so crucial like I don't even know how to really explain how crucial and how critical this is. I also don't know how to explain how difficult this is because it's one of those things that is definitely easier said than done because when life is happening and things aren't going on the up and up, you are in some sort of transition phase or you are in between purpose and passion or you are in between what paycheck and where did it go or any type of external factors that could be hindering you and making you have a negative attitude, sometimes it's hard to work against those and remain positive. But I am challenging and charging you to choose your attitude. Choose to be happy. Choose to be excited in spite of. Choose to think about the glass as half full, even when you're like, man, the glass is half empty. I don't care how many times I try to look at it. I try to flip the glass. I try to change the narrative. The glass is half empty. No, 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 it's not. Even when, I mean, things are really, really hard, you have to choose your attitude and you have to choose the way you perceive things. You have to choose the way that you are looking at your situation. Don't think of bad days as bad days. Think of them as character building days. Think of them as shaping you days. Think of them as days that are making you a better person for the person that you will be. These are hard. I am not about to sit here and even play, flex, and tell you that it's easy. I'm also not going to tell you that I've always been able to do it because I haven't been. There have been times where I've been in a funk and I've just been in that funk. Like, I wasn't able to get out of it. My thoughts were negative. My perception was negative. My everything was just negative and wrapped around the fact that life was sucking. However... Once I begin to embody a more positive mindset, no matter what, and different strokes for different folks, for some people that's daily affirmations or devotions or inspirational moments, that is a slew of quotes and positive things in your camera roll, that is um, calling someone and just venting about whatever is going on, but getting it out and leaving it out and just letting it go and being done with it. It looks different for every person, but figure out how it works for you. Like what it is that you need to do to be able to shape your mind in a positive way. Because once you choose that positive attitude and you are set in that, it's like you're a brick wall. And someone is trying to like keep running into it and knocking you down, but they don't have any force at all. And so you are not allowing the external forces of life to knock your wall down. You are making sure that your wall is so firm and you are so in tune with yourself and the positive mindset that it's like, whatever life, like, I understand (laughs) that you're going to keep trying to knock me down and you are going to keep trying to make me get in a negative space, but I'm not going to allow you. And what you'll realize is it doesn't mean that things are going to always be peachy and all flowers and all this good stuff. But it does mean that in your world, things are going to be great because you're always, always, let me get it out. You're always going to have a positive mindset. And you are thinking of challenges as things that are shaping you and not things that are breaking you. You think of hard times as things that are making you a better person and not things that are bringing you down. You think of times of sadness or confusion as just character building traits um not as oh my goodness why me so you begin to just look at everything from a different perspective and the glass is genuinely half full at all times and as i already stated this is not by any means an easy practice this is not by any means something that's going to happen overnight this is something that you have to continually work towards because life starts hitting you with things and you're like wait a minute now this is crazy i filed out five times all i keep hitting (laughs) is foul balls like no home runs but you have to stick with it being positive and being optimistic having a very altering attitude as it relates to the things that are going on would be so beneficial to your life and your well-being like i kid you not 
it's just who refreshing refreshing to be able to just be okay in spite of all because life is going to happen it's inevitable that things are going to happen challenges are going to come and a lot of times we're not going to understand why but we have to choose our attitude so i am charging and challenging you to choose the positive attitude think about how you are looking at situations when things aren't going the way you expect them to go or the way you would want them to go like things aren't favorable for you at the time just Take a step back and analyze how you are handling and how your attitude is playing a part and how that is affecting you. Furthermore, sometimes we have to accept things that we cannot change right now because you can be real radical and you can change things and you can make stuff shift. But think about how you are perceiving the things that you cannot change like right now. Um, So choose your attitude and start looking at things as, as half full, not half empty. And remember that we do not have bad days. We have charge me up days. We have character building days. We have make me a better person days. But we do not have bad days. Every day that we are here, it's a good day because we are choosing our attitude and we are framing our mind to think that way. It is Monday if you are listening in real time, so you know what that means. Tune in tonight, Facebook Live, Tabitha D. James, 9.08 p.m. We will be chatting. If you're not listening in real time, go catch the recaps. I always leave the videos up. There's awesome tools and conversations going on to just keep the positive energy flowing and to keep you thinking about ways to choose your attitude. Have a great one.